Welcome back to another episode of Fishing for Mikey TV. That was a bit weird. Who cares? So, I'm your host, Fishing for Mikey, and today I'm very excited. This sounds really stupid, but um, I've decided to, for the moment, quit lure fishing until I can be bothered to find somewhere that I can catch fish on lures. I'm going to go back to my old style of um, bait fishing, my old lures, like my, my old setups, my old rigs and stuff. So, I'm just going to take you through a bit, it's like a bit of an unbagging sort of talk thing. I'm not going to take too long, up to about five minutes I think, and then I'm going to finish because otherwise it's too long. So to start off, I'll show you my stuff. So in this bag, this is my bag, that I I bought some new stuff yesterday from the uh, dollar store or, or the pound shop or whatever you want to call it. Um, so just take talk you through it. So I bought some... Okay, now. I'm just going to take everything out and then show you it because it's much easier that way. I'm going to show you everything, not just fishing stuff, I just feel like showing everything. Everything I bought and some stuff I didn't buy. This, this stuff I bought before but you, I'm showing you what you can buy in the dollar pound, in the 100 yen shop in Japan. Okay. That's everything. Okay, so to start off, we're going to go through what I like to use the most, um, weights, weight, what weights I like to use the most. Um, well, these I've been, these I've been using for the past, well, it's got to be, since I started fishing, these are the first things I caught fish on. Um, and it's these type of weights. Don't know what you call these. But um, they seem to work really well. They like the weight sinks down to. It's called a rocket rocket bottom bouncer. I think. And what you do is, um, you have this this weight goes to the bottom, and then you have this clipped onto your line um, onto your line, and then you have your hook on the other end. I'll show you one I've got set up in a minute. But I bought two of those because they're only like 100 yen, which is like in English money is like. 60p, so it's like nothing for one. So I just bought two of them. I bought some of these, which I can catch octopus, um, all different kinds of rockfish, everything on it, really. Almost everything. You can even catch bass on these. So, you know, it's, it's a win buying them. Um, I also bought some lizards. These you can also catch almost anything on. Um, I bought some snap swivels because I like the boxes that they come in so I always buy these because I buy the boxes and then I use the snap swivels up really quick so I don't know what strength they are but you know who cares when they cost that much I bought CD case put my DVDs in move stuff I bought a jig rock I'm guessing this is a rock fishing jig or something of that sort you can catch on this cutlass fish, you can catch rock fish, you can catch almost anything. Anyway, that's done. Um, bought some lights. This eight in a pack, so it's going to be like, what? This is last up to five hours there, 25 millimeters. 25 mil, that's that. They're that long, about an inch long. Sorry, my nose is really annoying. And then last but not least, I bought some. Hai Chu, not to be mixed with Chu Hai. Chu Hai is an alcoholic fruit flavoured drink and Hai Chu is a kid's sweet Coca-Cola pineapple. These are like wine gum sort of Mao Wam. These are like Mao Wam things. Okay, so anyway, I'm probably going to go just a, a bit, maybe six minutes or so. I don't know, it's been four minutes now. So, Okay, so the rig I like to use... Um, is something I bought, I got when I first started fishing, my, I bought a fishing set, my brother, I bought a fishing set and my brother bought a fishing set, and out of my brother's fishing set I got one thing that I thought I'd try it, and I put some spam on it, and I caught a huge catfish, which then kind of snapped my line up, uh, I snapped all the hooks off, so I started, decided to make my own ones, that were a lot stronger, and from that I've invented these, so, I don't, most countries you're not allowed to use double hook, in Japan it's fine, so, this is my 
rake. So I have a double hook rake, a plaited line. This is uh, th this is three plat from here down. It's three plat to the first hook, and after that's two plat, which then ties onto my hook, my other hook. Um, so that's what I use really. You have to be careful, sometimes you want to close these down because otherwise the fi fish pulls it will bend it out. And then here you just attach your line to it and then that sinks to the bottom and then this either floats, normally the top one I'll put something that floats on and then the bottom one I'll put a piece of spam or something on it or I just put both spam and then they sort of lay almost flat like that or they sit off the ground about that much and then that seems to attract catfish the most I catch is catfish um, but then you can also catch carp on it. I've caught quite a few big carp on them. Um, so that's my f that's my favourite rig really. So the hook I've got at the bottom is a wacky rig hook. It's a decoy a decoy wacky rig hook. Um, and then the other one is just a gamakatsu. I don't know what this is. Just a cheap gamakatsu hook, cheapest I could find. But like cheapest for the strength and that lot. Everyone says, "Are you catching Moby Dick with hooks this size?" But I like using bigger hooks. I'm not, I'm not a fan of small hooks. Every time you you, you lose a lot of fish using small hooks, and you use, lose a lot of fish using big hooks as well. But if you pick, you know what fish you're catching. You know what size hooks to use. For me, for catfish, this is my favourite size. Um, I'll go up to almost sea fishing size hooks as well with catfish, and I seem to catch them as well. Um, big bass hooks work pretty well for catfish and carp or koi or whatever you want to call them but these these are my best favorite size so this is what I use so for bait normally I use spam as I said or something of that some of that kind at the moment I'm going to start try using this thing called a fish hamburger that I found in the shop and it's like f mashed up ham and fish um, like a, it's like a piece of spam on. it looks like spam so I thought you know what give it a try they also do a ham version which I might try another time but I wanted to try the fish one at the time being at the time being when I bought it um, also I like to use bread not so good but the best um, can be is normally oats they have like in Japan they have these oats which you put in your rice and mix together and they seem to be really good you boil them for about an hour um, and, and then you hook, them, just put them hook on your hook, and you seem to catch fish really easily. You can catch all different sizes of fish, but carp seem to like them the most. But that that's what I like to use. Um, I also have a um, special catfish bait, which I will actually be giving away the recipe to, um, because if I get enough, give me five likes on this video, and I give away my recipe for catfish bait. It's like it, you can catch not just catfish, everything. It touches the water and you get bites. So if you put small bits on, you can catch lots of little fish easily. Um, basically, it's like it's like a dough. It's just it's dough that, and I put some uh, special ingredients in, and it seems to catch fish so so well. If it doesn't work, then you made it wrong. So um, I'll and if you get five likes on this, um, two new subscribers. No, just five likes, then I will add put the video in. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Also, stay tuned for more videos. This one was kind of boring, I know, but um, my other ones are pretty good. I'm trying to make myself a bit more, like, more exciting when I catch a fish, so to try and make it more fun. I've got my new microphone, which is a bit weird, but it seems to work. I don't know if it, how well it works, but... Hopefully it works good. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Like this video. Check out my other videos. Like them. And stay tuned again. And watch some more videos when they come out. You know? I'm not that bad, am I now? See you later, guys.